Let's see this equation. It involves radical signs. And also the variable x is here in the exponent. So what do we want to do? We want to make an equation on both sides have the same base. And indeed, we see here we can make a base five. Here we can base also make a base five. If the bases are the same, the forces, because it's the equation, the forces, the exponents to be the same as well. Okay, so square root of five can be written as five raised by half. Then raised by square root of 19 minus square root of x. And 25 can be written as a five squared. When we have two layers of exponent, one base, we multiply the two layers of exponents. So we get a half multiplied by square root of 19 minus square root of x. And that equals to five squared. Well, base is a five, base is a five. So the forces the exponent to be the same. So that means half of square root of 19 minus square root of x equals to two. Then we multiply by two on both sides to get rid of the half on the left hand side. So get a square root of 19 minus square root of x that equals to two times two, which is a four. Then we square both sides, right, to get rid of the square root sign. Then we get a 19 minus square root of x equals to 4 squared, 16. Then we move 16 to this side, becomes negative, so 19 minus 16. We move negative square root of x to the other side, become positive. 19 minus 16, that's 3. So square root of x equals 3. Because we have equation, doesn't matter which side we write on. Then we square both sides. So x equals to 9. Right, let me check. Let's see, we'll go back to the equation. We see if x equals 9, square root of 9 is a 3. 19 minus 3 is a 16. Square root of 16 is a 4. Then 5 raised by half, the square root of 5 raised by 4, indeed a 5 squared, which is 25. 